I think that the great contribution to the church in the United States that the Society of Jesus has made and continues to make uh, is especially through our schools, through our universities, through our high schools. But I think it's present in, in all of our works, in our retreat houses and in our social apostolates. And it's, it's to communicate a specifically Ignatian version of, of what David Tracy calls that Catholic imagination, that sacramental imagination. It's to see the possibility of grace in every moment. It's to feel the world charged with the grandeur of God. It's to feel oneself as, as deeply at home in a world that's filled with wonder and awe, and a world that's not so much a place of problem solving as much as it is a place of reverence and awe and engagement. I think that what, we've, what we are doing through our, our schools is providing the church with a set of kind of spiritual tools, if you will, so that this new educated Catholic laity, this perhaps never before in the world has there been this type of, a, of an educated church, uh, this type of a sophisticated, professionally competent group of Catholic men and women uh, at every level of a society, a minority community in a, in a society which uh, in many ways is, is organized along different lines, uh, this dialectical Protestant imagination and then the sacramental Catholic imagination. They, they complement one another. They, they certainly need each other. Catholics can be too comfortable with the way the world is, and Protestants can be too dissatisfied with the world as it is. Uh, but I think especially what we provide this larger social structure is not optimism. That's, that's a horrible American vice, optimism, that everything is great and getting better, and no matter what we do, things are going to work out well. But rather, deep Christian hope that things go well, things go badly. Uh, we make mistakes and we recover from them. Uh, in the end, things will go horribly badly, uh, and in my life, my life will end in death. And I hope that throughout my life, God will continue to make meaning in me and for me, and that even through my death, God will save me. And so I'm hopeful uh, without being optimistic, uh, hopeful without being pessimistic either. And I think that's the Catholic gift to the United States, and I think that's the Jesuit gift to the Catholic Church in the United States, is a sort of a sophisticated, hopeful realism, uh, intellectual rigor, professional competence, and a sort of undying trust that God is present and active and at work, and that Neither does God do everything for us, nor does God leave us to do everything on our own, but rather there is this sort of cooperation, this collaboration between faith and grace, between faith and reason, between being contemplative and being active, uh, between the movement in and the movement out. Uh, the more I understand and know the world as it truly is, uh, the more I understand and know myself as I truly am the more I find this quiet, peaceful place in my own heart, the more I can be a force of peace in the community and in the world. Uh, it's to link the interior and the exterior. It's to link the, the realm of grace and the social realm. Uh, it's always to be a bit dissatisfied, both with my own spiritual progress and with social progress. Uh, but a dissatisfaction that, that doesn't immobilize, uh, but rather energizes and seeks always new possibilities. Uh, neither the construction of utopias uh, or the construction of Catholic ghettos. We could return to the ghetto. I, that's a, that's a, a real temptation, especially in some Catholic uh, educational circles, is to circle the wagons and close the doors and make our little parallel society again, return to the past when we didn't live with such complexity. But that would impoverish us, uh, 
because it would remove some of the challenges of being Catholic, and that would certainly impoverish uh, the national culture because it would remove from the mix this minority voice, this alternative way of viewing the social contract and, and even the nation's project. Uh, yeah.